During additive manufacturing, the chemical composition of a metallic part may be different from that of the feedstock from which the part is made. This is because the temperature of the fusion zone is very high and alloying elements vaporize from the fusion zone depending on their equilibrium vapor pressures. The equilibrium vapor pressure of an element depends on its concentration in a given alloy and temperature. The selective vaporization of the volatile alloying elements results in changes in the composition of the alloy. In our recent paper, we present a modeling framework, integrating heat and fluid flow simulations to calculate the temperature field on the fusion zone surface, thermodynamic calculations and evaporation rate modeling to estimate the composition change during laser powder bed fusion of nickel-based superalloys. Experimental validation confirms the accuracy of our model. Moreover, we quantify the relative vulnerabilities of different nickel-based superalloys to composition change quantitatively, and we examine the effect of remelting due to the layer-by-layer -layer deposition during the laser powder bed process. Spatial variations in evaporative flux and compositions for each element were determined, providing valuable insights into the laser powder bed fusion process. The results of this study can be used to optimize the process parameters such as laser power, scanning speed, and powder layer thickness to ensure the production of high-quality components with desired chemical compositions. Just like the evaporation of the water molecules from the coffee mug, selective vaporization of alloying elements from the molten pool during additive manufacturing can lead to significant composition changes in the final parts. This phenomenon occurs due to the high temperatures reached in the melt pool, causing volatile elements with lower boiling points to selectively evaporate, as explained in the animation. Elements like aluminum, magnesium, and chromium are particularly susceptible to vaporization. For example, data shows a significant magnesium depletion in laser-welded aluminum alloy parts. The extent of composition change depends on factors such as heat source power, scanning speed, and alloy composition. These compositional changes can significantly impact the microstructure, mechanical properties, and corrosion resistance of the manufactured components. During the laser powder bed fusion process, volatile alloying elements can selectively vaporize from the molten pool, leading to variations in the chemical composition of the final part compared to the original feedstock. The rate at which these elements vaporize depends on their vapor pressure which is influenced by local temperature and alloy composition. This loss of alloying elements can significantly impact the microstructure, corrosion resistance, and mechanical properties of the manufactured parts. This figure compares the relative susceptibilities of 10 commonly used nickel alloys to composition change. The calculations are done at a 200 watts laser power, a scanning speed of 1.8 meter per second, and a layer thickness of 30 micrometers. The figure indicates the absolute value of composition change for only the most susceptible element. The most volatile alloying element is chromium for most of the nickel alloys. However, for nitinol which consists of only nickel and titanium, nickel is the most susceptible element to composition change because of its lower boiling point than titanium. We need a mathematical model to simulate the vaporization of alloying elements, and the resulting composition change during laser powder bed fusion of nickel alloys. A heat transfer and fluid flow model is used to estimate the temperature field. The top surface temperature field and the vapor pressure versus temperature data are used to compute the spatial distribution of the vapor pressure of pure elements. A thermodynamic model is used to calculate the activities of all alloying elements that are used to predict the partial vapor pressure of elements over the liquid alloy. The partial vapor pressures of elements are then used in the Langmuir equation to calculate the evaporative flux of elements. Calculated changes in the composition of six main constituting elements of different nickel alloys A. Inconel 939, B. Inconel 718, C. CM 247 LC, D. ABD 850 AM were compared with the corresponding experimental data during LPBF. The predicted values have been compared with the experimental composition changes during LPDF. The computed composition change values agree well with the corresponding experimental data. The minor discrepancies are due to three reasons. First, 
high temperature activity data is estimated using a thermodynamic model with various accuracies for different elements and alloys. In particular, for relatively new nickel alloys such as ABD850AM, the thermodynamic databases are still developing. Second, vapor pressure data at elevated temperatures have uncertainties. The uncertainties are high for high melting and boiling point elements because evaporation is sensitive to both the vapor pressure of an element over an alloy as well as its activity in the alloy. Finally, inductively coupled plasma optical emission spectroscopy, ice PUS, which is used for the composition measurements is known to have uncertainties, especially for high melting point elements in powder feedstocks. However, the calculations predict the correct trend in composition change. For example, both the experimental and computed results in Figure 4 show that the composition changes for CR and AL are negative. Positive composition changes are observed for the other elements. Apart from the local temperature, vapor pressure, and activities of an element, evaporative loss and composition change during laser powder bed fusion are significantly affected by remelting during the deposition of multiple layers and hatches. The composition change is more pronounced at a location in the part where it undergoes multiple remelting cycles. Non-uniform remelting cycles at various locations in a part result in spatially variable composition profiles. EDS measurement results available in the literature have shown that the location in a part that undergoes more remelting cycles contains less amount of the volatile elements. For example, in a customized nickel alloy part produced by powder bed fusion with a powder containing 21.28%. Chromium, the chromium content decreases in areas subjected to more remelting cycles. This research highlights the importance of understanding how selective vaporization affects composition changes during laser powder bed fusion of nickel-based superalloys. The newly developed modeling framework provides valuable insights into optimizing processing conditions, such as laser power and scanning speed, by minimizing evaporative losses through careful control of temperature fields and remelting cycles. Ultimately, this work aims to enhance the quality and performance of components produced via additive manufacturing techniques like laser powder bed fusion by ensuring desired chemical compositions are maintained throughout the process.